a wonderful day. Welcome back, everybody, to Carriage Plays, Alundra. I'm happy to have you here. Alright. <laughs> Septimus, where are you? I remember when Wendell told me that he didn't believe in the gods. His heresy went like this. The gods were invented by men too weak to accept the harsh, harsh realities of life alone. Do you think he believes in the gods now, Alundra? Uh, what are you referencing? This feels like some sort of forum argument that's spilling over to <laughs> real life. <laughs> How did we miss that house the first time? I don't know. We went into this house first. Uh, help me! I'm old and stupid. <laughs> oh, Grandpa, if you die, I'll certainly die too. Septimus, please help my grandpa. You're the only one who can save him. Despite my having prayed at the shrine of Maggie Scar, there was no change. I can't believe that all that prayer did no good. Perhaps I wasn't sincere enough. <laughs> because I really don't like him. Where are your gods now, Alundra? Oh. <laughs> Alundra, you've returned and you brought a book! Uh, wrong book, asshole. <laughs> Septimus has handed a tome. Oh, check out that fireplace, man. Oh, yeah. Cozy. Dude. I see. Alundra, you are of the clan of Elda, the Dreamwalkers. You have the power to enter the dreams of other people and change their outcome. Some Miss Cleo shit. You can use this power to rescue Wendell from his disabling nightmare. You must go to him at once. I'll keep reading as you attempt to enter his dream to assist you. That's totally going to be helpful, right? Are you ready, Alundra? Take Wendell's wrist gently in your hand. There. That's it. Place his hand in the <laughs> warm water. <laughs> now concentrate. Try to feel his heartbeat pulse beneath your fingertips. Listen to the rise and fall of his breath, Alundra. Try to breathe in time, time with him. Inhale, exhale, in and out, and in <laughs> and out. I totally love that song, don't you? Do you feel the flow, Alundra? Are you ready to make the leap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is kind of like, um, yeah, uh, to the moon vibes. Oh yeah, another good game. Oh my god, we could play that for the channel. <gasps> oh my god, should we? That sounded like, that sounded mean. <laughs> it sounded like like a, like a mean kid at school. <laughs> oh yeah, would that be cool? Help! Please help me. Window. Slimes. These slimes are gonna turn into people and point at me for a second. At least slimes look like street toughs. Please deliver me! <laughs> Help me, someone, anyone! Huh, okay. That maybe did something. Oh, here we go, here we go. Figuring out, puzzling. Huh. Um. Hello? Uh. Oh, 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 clever. So clever. Clever girl. Is that shoe? Uh, no, I was thinking of- Clever oh. girl, Apple. <laughs> no, I was, I was thinking of uh, Jurassic Park. Oh. Where you have the the raptor, it learns how to, I don't know, use guns or something. I can't remember. <laughs> it was <laughs> those movies are pretty dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. It's a good line. I think it, it's the he sneaks the one of the raptors sneaks up on um, the Australian guy. Crikey! 
Clever girl. Or maybe he's in British. I can't remember. Clever. That. It's been a long time since I've seen that movie. Nice one, mate. Mate. Like another root beer. Maybe he's British. Shoot. Do I go back for that chest? Yeah. It must be worth it, right? Oh, it's right here. Ooh. Oh, one of these things that I don't know what it means. <laughs> We're coming, Wendell! We'll save you! Oh my gosh! Slimes! Or items! Oh, slimes. They're pointing at me! They're shame! Do you remember that episode of Red Dwarf, Better Than Life? Uh, oh, is that, uh, like, there's, like, a virtual reality? It's a it's a VR simulation, but yeah. it's it's whatever you your your dream is comes to life in, uh -huh. in VR. And Rimmer, who secretly hates himself, well, he's kind of like a straight man, or not a straight man necessarily. He's like the Dwight Schrute type, right? Kind of, kind, kind of, of like it. he's the anal guy. <laughs> the it, you know that he just keeps on his unconscious keeps coming up with just worse and worse things to happen to him. Uh-huh. So, like, I just imagine, you know, Wendell is like, oh shit! Not the slimes! I accidentally used another... another healing herb. Pulse sec. No. Alright. Huh. How are we gonna do this for now? Oh. Okay. Does that seem to eat? Oh, okay. I'm gonna have to find some sort of item. Oh, the statue! Can you use the statue? What statue? The the statue you got in the treasure chest. Can you place it on the No, thing? it's like not a thing in my inventory. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Hmm. Okay, you just have to be fast, I guess. Oh. Huh. Weird. Uh-huh. Maybe you just have to like pick the right path or something, is the point. So you go this way, and then this way. Oh. Clever girl. Clever girl. Okay. Ah, uh -huh. shit. Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> I like that you picked this up immediately. What you were supposed, oh, to, damn. supposed to have done. Damn it. <laughs> Did I instantly forget it? <laughs> I got it now. And then just stay on the bottom. What took you so long? Oh, thank the gods, you've come at last. Who, who are you again? Alundra, eh? Please tell me you've come to release me from this horrid nightmare. Huh? The slimes don't really seem to care that much. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yikes. Oh, I love it when they do this in uh, Dragon Quest. Oh, King Slime. You, you want to back us up here, Wendell? No, I just like to watch. This is a really easy boss, seemingly. Yeah, I could have done this. What the hell was I... What was I even afraid of? <laughs> then the slimes, meanwhile, like, why did we join together? It seems like we're doing, like, absolutely nothing to this guy. We were kind of better off when we just pointed at him. Judgment. You know, you know, normally you have slimes as some sort of you know base level enemy in a in a role playing game, uh, and I haven't really thought about it too much until now. But that's actually kind of frightening that some sort of giant amoeba like creature that just is big enough to attack a like terrestrial vertebrate. Mm -hmm. You know, way to get all scientific on us. Well, I'm just, you know, just saying, like, you, like, you know, if you had an amoeba that, you know, could eat your foot, like, how frightening that would be. Kind of like a miniature blob from the movie The Blob. Mm-hmm. So actually can't, like, you know. What about the movie The Fly? Also a terrifying movie. For different reasons. What about Jeff Goldblum? Terrifying for different reasons. <laughs> Going back to Jurassic yeah. Park. Bring it all the way around. Clever girl. 
Well, there it is. Um, <laughs> wow, these old, old memes. Bring bring that back around. <laughs> Man, we're killing this. Keyboard man. cat, everybody. <laughs> hey, remember keyboard cat? Half out. Can this let's play get any more? Oh fuck! This is suddenly difficult. I think we have herbs. Where's her? Uh oh, I guess it's window. <laughs> wow, why don't these slimes always do this? I don't know. I love it's pretty nimble. For a uh, pretty fly for a white guy. Is that what you're thinking? Uh pretty fly for a freak boy. Freak boy. <laughs> boy. Hey, you know what game I should play for the channel? God of War. God of War, baby. Oh, yeah. Boy. You know, I want to replay it uh, again. But not on the channel. Not on the channel. Um, I've talked to Jacob about this, but kind of the... Like, I'm not going back and replaying PlayStation 4 games as often as I normally would. Because in the back of my mind, I have this narrative of... A, you know, a theoretical PlayStation 5 coming out and playing all of your PlayStation 4 games way better. Like, you know, higher I don't even really think that's theoretical at this point. I just feel like that's, like, fact. Yeah. But, like, you know, I don't... It's a reason I, you know, keep putting off playing these games that I ordinarily would have gotten a second or third playthrough Whoa, already. Oh, check that out. Fucking Cloud Strife, bro. The Gelatinoid has been defeated. Oh, Gelatinoid is my favorite metal band. Hmm. It's like Yonoid, but gelatin based. Whoa. Or a void Thunderation. Void. That was some of the finest swordsmanship I've ever witnessed. Thank you. <laughs> Thunderation? Is that an adventure time exclamation? Yeah, it's w Thunderation, everybody. M mathematical. Alundra, can you hear me? It is I, Septimus. Oh, that, wait, Septimus is. Says... Alundra, can you hear me? <laughs> it is I, Septimus. Wendell's body has stopped tensing, no, and he's not... Oh, you're right. Yeah, yep, yeah, yeah, you're right. Wendell's body has stopped tensing, and he's not moaning anymore. In fact, he appears to be smiling. What did you do in there? I don't know what you... Uh, I don't know what you did, but his nightmare is definitely over. When the hell was I thinking of the, like, uh, um... Septimus. I don't... You were like, thinking of a wizard. Well, that, yeah, that wizard guy who came to us in a dream originally. What was his name? I don't know, Yogala. <laughs> You're back now. It was so strange. When you entered Wendell's drain, your body went slack. If I hadn't steadied you, you had certainly fallen to the floor. When you exited the dream, your body appeared to reanimate. It was quite a sight to behold. There's no need to be concerned, Mead. It appears that this is to be the norm when he enters others' dreams. I understand what you're saying, but it still gives me shivers. I'm grateful, but I don't have to like it. Oh, where am I? What what intonation is going on? <laughs> you see, like, the yeah, head like, shake? It's like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Grandpa, you're okay. Or, Grandpa, you're awake. Yay. Can someone explain what in Hades, I, Hades I'm doing in bed at this hour? Don't you remember, Father? You've been asleep for the past three days, trapped in a terrible nightmare. How often do people remember how long they've slept <laughs> when they've just woken up? But you're okay now. You're awake and even more importantly, alive. I remember now, I was being chased by a foul, horrid creature of pure evil. No matter where I fled in that terrible world, the beast found me. At last, I fell to the ground, too exhausted to continue the cruel charade. When I struggled to my feet, struggled to my feet to face my end, I saw the glorious face of Alundra and my salvation. Oh no, it's like a baby or it's like a baby bird waking up and he thinks that now Alundra's his mother. Oh nice. 
Grandpa knows a Luntra's name. He couldn't have known that unless a Lundra really went into his dreams. How cool is that? I, can middling cool? Sort of cool? <laughs> when the way I survived, praise the gods, I must report this wonderful news to Chancellor Ronan at once. I totally wasn't just creeping out, peeking through their window. Cool. Well then, Alundra, I guess it's time we left Wendell alone for some much needed rest. Come, return with me to my home, and I'll explain your powers in greater detail. While you were gone, I uncovered some fascinating things about your gift. Septimus? Alundra? Thank you so much for saving Grandpa. Whatever. Bye. <laughs> Dweeb. You little freak boy. <laughs> Whoa, what the? Greetings, uh, Alundra. Oops, oops, oops. Chancellor Ronan has requested an audience with you and sent me to fetch you, Alundra. If you could come with me to the sanctuary to meet him, he'd be most appreciative, I'm certain. Ronan wants to speak with you? That's certainly strange, but you'd better see what he wants. I'm certain he'll be pleased to learn that Wendell's alright. Tell you what, Alundra, after you and he have spoken, meet me back here at my house so we can discuss your powers at length. I'm so excited, Septimus. There's a loud car outside everybody, so if you can hear that. <laughs> Follow me to the sanctuary if you would, Alundra. We had to crack a window because it's so hot in here, and now there's like... Get a muffler, bro. Yeah, some like freaking dump truck. <laughs> He's in the middle of this pond. <laughs> this way. I made you walk through those bushes for absolutely no reason. I'm doing, I don't know, like a young Robin Leach a little bit. To me, I thought you were just trying to do my Jess impersonation. <laughs> or Which not, one? No, yeah, a Jess from Suicone 2, rather. Yes, I know, Alundra. Wendell has survived. The gods held forth a thread of salvation for his soul. Let us pray to the gods and thank them for their undeserved benevolence. No. Have you no respect for the powers of salvation? On your knees. Let us pray to the gods and thank them for your undes for the undeserved kindness they have extended. No. Have you no respect for the power of the blah 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 Why is- why ask me? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm doing a- maybe a, a little Vincent Price, just trying it out. Maybe it works. Anyway. I don't know Vincent Price. You see, the gods do exist. They exist in the hearts and minds of those that pray dearly to them. In our hearts? Yes, Sora, Donald, Goofy. I- <laughs> Yen Sid style. I yeah. Oh, now you have now you are one with us, my friend. You shall become just as we, no better, no worse. So if you were really trying to do my sweet cone too, well, Jess, you would say no more. Well, 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 very well, 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 very well, 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 Ah, I used another herb. <laughs> God damn it, Jacob. You see, the gods do exist. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, yes. totally totes, dude. Gods are awesome. They exist, I, I swear. I'm gonna sideways walk out of your temple. You just stepped in some pew. <laughs> pew <-tie. laughs> Jesus. Um, <laughs> was there, like, an upper floor to that, uh... I don't know. You want me to check it out? I did. Oh! Hello! Whoa! It's pretty flashy. Just having fun, man. Coming to some creepy old shack. 
It's the love shack. <laughs> it's a little... Hey. With my mining bomb, this work would be finished in 8.3 seconds flat. Well, all right. Give or take a tenth. Well, I want a gift for one of those babies right now. You know, Jess used to make them. Huh. Probably. Okay, I'm thinking of the guy with the tragic past who lost his son and his wife who also used to make explosives. <laughs> like, I'm, the narrative is coming together in my mind. Maybe why he doesn't make the explosives anymore. <laughs> Whether that was intended or not. Pretty cool, they just give you a pretty free reign to explore. Yeah. Madagascar. There's the lake. Cool. Maybe we ought to go back and save it and call this an episode of Alundra. As you do. As we do. And, uh... We'll see everybody next time on Carriage Plays Whatever Game We're Playing. Alright. Bye, everybody. Love Shack, baby. Love Shack, baby. Love Shack. Love Scratch, baby. Love Save Scratch. It. Love Scratch. Love Squatch, baby. Oh, it's me, the Love Squatch. <laughs>